Hey everyone, welcome to QP Tech 1.4 preview. Uh, seems to be a bit of a something going on here. Well, we've in the last uh, video I showed you these uh, fluid storage tanks, and now I've added matching pipes. And uh, they're kind of neat. You can just stick them wherever you want. They'll self-connect. They still, they're not pressurized, so they'll only send water down. If you want to send water up, then you have to add the pump block. So the pump block would take, uh, <laughs> it gets a little crazy here. The pump block would take input from any of these directions and send it up one. So let me grab a tank. Still haven't fixed the question mark thing. So any water in these pipes, on any of these sides and down is going to get pushed up into there. Uh, this is just a big test mess of pipes. Uh, you can see actually in action, this is our water tower, which has been running for a long time to have this much water in it. Oh, are these hold 100 liters now. So it's coming out of here, trickling down there. It will equalize among these enough to fill up these generators. Then it's going to go down and over. You can see it go through here. The flow is quite slow because it's using the block ticking rate, which means it only happens every couple of seconds an update. But it'll get where it needs to go. But here you can see I've used these uh, pumps, blocks, which I think will require power eventually, but for now, they're just kind of stand-ins. And then the water would flow. It can't go backwards through here. So it's going to flow in there. And you can see, let's see if we can catch an update here. It will just keep dumping down into those tanks, depending on the tick rate. It's hard to catch it in action. It's especially slow when there's not a lot of water going in the system because the blocks will uh, they'll kind of average out between them and one other small change here is I've made the uh, forge a self loading thing so oh it's kind of out here if you haven't used this before this is just like your regular forge Except it's run by electricity, which was in the, in the past just makes it kind of convenient. But now I've actually made it so it will pull from a container on top. So it's pulled these, uh, what do I got there, brass ingots. And it's heating them up. And then actually this is the plate stamping machine. So as soon as these are hot enough, the plate stamping machine will grab it and make plates. Now what's going on here? Oh yes, this is the shoot, the pipe bender, which still doesn't have proper graphics, but so it's been making shoots because I had this loaded with copper, but I'm not sure why it's not going. It says it's on a material hold. That's interesting. Well, what I could do is heat these back up in here. But anyways. That's a mess for later. So anyways, these are just a little uh, preview of what uh, what's going on. I hope to have an update before too long. There's still some stuff to work out with these pipes. And especially the, uh, the weird question mark block thing. And I got to figure out the recipes. But anyways, it's all coming. And I also need to start working on higher uh, grade machines that can handle more than just uh, uh, bronze and the soft metals.